Welcome back, family and friends, to another episode of Independent Joe. Uh, today, I'm going to go over, uh, let's see here, Bardstown Discovery Batch 7. Uh, the reason why I'm looking at the bottles is because I don't normally collect these ones. Um, yeah, they're a little high in price, so I only, I'm only i only getting this one uh, to review because I felt like I should. Um, never mind, I'm just kidding. Of course, I like these bottles uh, pretty much so I had to get the batch 7 so that I could review it because uh, I like the flavor of them of course a lot of people have their res reservations about 5 and that's because of the high content of a certain distillery um, that I don't mind myself but um, I can see uh, as far as flavor wise maybe why some people don't appreciate this one as much uh, but I do uh, like that distillery uh, again to remain nameless I'm not gonna throw any distiller under the bus at the same time because I personally like them but uh, I'm here to do a review on batch 7 not about batch 5 um, but uh, this is one that has uh, five different uh, mash bills in this you got 31% uh, from Kentucky, which is a 12 year. I won't go into the mash bills, but it, it is a different uh, mash bill for this, uh, that one. 25% uh, from another uh, Kentucky uh, mash bill at 12 year. Another 12 year in there. We also got 21% from Ontario. Uh, that will be a 12 year as well. And then you have 15% um, that Ontario is just straight corn whiskey, by the way. Uh, from Indiana, you got 15% at a seven-year whiskey, of course, at a uh, different mash bill. And then you got uh, the Tennessee whiskey at 8%. Uh, uh, and, and theirs is a 17-year. So uh, you got your different mash bills in here course uh, these other ones have different mash bills as well the, the least of the mash bills was on uh, discovery 4 which was uh, from three different uh, mash mashes and I won't go into those oops look at that and then uh, this one had four and this one had three as well uh, highest of course from Tennessee <laughs> was uh, this one at 25%. Uh, this one didn't have any Tennessee whiskey. And this one had 16%. But uh, a lot of people still appreciated what Six offered. Uh, even though, again, I already mentioned the distillery, but hey, um, it is what it is. Uh, again, I don't have a problem with that uh, distillery. Anyways, so this one comes in at a whopping 114.5 uh, proof. Uh, pretty good proof point. I like my proof points between 110 and 115. It can go a little higher. Uh, depending on the, I guess, occasion, what I'm, what I want to do or how I want to drink this certain pour, um, maybe time of day. Uh, I don't think it's too hot and it's uh, relatively nice. You're going to get sweet tones, a lot of different flavors come through. So, um, and not worrying about too much about heat. I mean, there are some that are higher proof where you can uh, go ahead and drink it and still have a subdued, uh, I guess, alcohol type flavor to it. This one on the nose right now isn't that bad. I took a whiff of it uh, before I started the video. And again, it's, it, it, is, it does fall in line with the Discovery line. Uh, very sweet. A very approachable very nice aroma to it um, I, you do get a, a hint of orange which sometimes is um, I guess associated with uh, Tennessee uh, whiskeys or at least a certain Tennessee whiskey but it's still nice still approachable still uh, not alcohol forward even at 114 0.5 proof I'm not positive if it is the highest proof that they offer this one's at 111 this one was at ooh, this one was at 90 oh no 
152. So 104. And then this one was at 115. So slightly higher than or slightly lower than four by 0.5 proof. Uh, so, uh, but one of the highest ones that they've, uh, I guess, put out as far as these right here. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and go in on the nose. Again, I, well, I just gave you the nose. I'm gonna go in on the palette. As you can see, it, it definitely coats uh, the glass very, you know, pretty well. Not too bad. Uh, very nice. Uh, very nice, rich in color. Uh, I think I got a little bit of sediment in there, but that's okay. It maybe shows that it's uh, unfiltered. Again, getting that orange um, little twist in there. Very sweet. Very nice. Cheers, everybody. Very, very crushable. <laughs> very, very nice. Very sweet, very coating. Um, this is one that I definitely, wow. I mean, you get it, you get the right amount of spice with the right amount of flavor. A, a little bit of that orange comes through, but not, uh, not a medicinal orange, but, but pretty, pretty nice in tone and flavor. I really like it. I'm going for a second drink. Not that it, it went away, um, but it, 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 yeah. Definitely on the back end, uh, you, you're getting some of that oak, those oak tannins, those oak flavors. Really sweet, really nice. Yeah, I mean, I, I, for the amount of um, Tennessee whiskey in here at 8%, I think that 17 year is really coming through. It, it, it doesn't feel, doesn't taste young, doesn't taste um, like it's lacking flavor or anything like that or finish. The finish is pretty good uh, and it lasts uh, pretty long uh, as far as what I can tell right now. The same flavors are there again it's sweet got that orange twist in there and it's just uh, i don't know it's just really nice um it is definitely a recommend for me um i do like it um i wouldn't compare it to the four um i think the four may be slightly better but i do think it may be on par with uh, the six and maybe better than the uh five so if you're a fan of the Discovery line, um, of course, um, it isn't, it wouldn't be uh, wrong for me to say that uh, you should probably grab one if, if this is your flavor profile because I think it's in line. It is a little different, but it is the same if that makes any sense. You get, you know, still getting those flavors. You got a light brown sugar coming through. That, that, that uh, I mean, the caramel is, is, is present it's just really nice 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 oak finish really i mean it ain't too heavy so uh it's just really nice um and, and it sticks around for a little bit so as i'm talking those flavors just keep recycling themselves so uh for me it, it, again it's it's a go um i like it and i would recommend it to anybody who's who likes this flavor profile which discovery uh bardstown uh, normally tries to keep their discovery line and their in their fusion lines you know in that same uh, wheelhouse that same profile so um, I really like it appreciate you all tuning in um, if you haven't already please hit like and subscribe for those of you who have already been subscribers for a while uh, maybe think about uh, joining the patreon um, got a few uh, think things I'm working on there uh, I'm going to start posting more stuff. But um, anyways, appreciate you. Thank you for uh, hanging out, and I'll see you on the next one. Have a great morning, e uh, afternoon, or evening, depending on when you're watching this. Thank you. Have a good day. And of course.
And of course, oops.